talk to me, they come to talk to Coach Buzz, um, they talk to my parents. And, uh, so, it's, so it's kind of a big network of things that just go down for this time. Was this your idea to do it, or did the coach approach you and be like, hey, you were pretty good in high school, maybe you want to try this? Uh, I think the, the, the coaches knew I played football in high school, just kind of like every other fan here does, they all knew I played football in high school. Uh, but like I said, it was just a big network of kind of things, just coaches talking to each other, uh, they contacted Coach Buzz, Coach Buzz contacted them, things of that nature. Has it been as fun as you thought it was going to be? Uh, yeah, it's extremely fun. Uh, I love going out there every day to be able to put pads on, something I haven't done since high school, and uh, every day I, I cherish it every day. How much more accomplished? Uh, well, supposedly th this one isn't as complicated as from what the coaches have been telling me, just with the signs and all the different play calls. I try to uh, make it as easy as possible for everyone. So uh, I'm, I'm just glad that we're not like an NFL type of offense where they have all those play calls and things like that. But you feel like you've picked it up pretty quickly? I know that you just installed the things. Uh, yeah, I think I've, I'm picking up on it pretty well. I've, I've been going to the coach's office. They've been really helping me out. Uh, trying to get me to learn the plays and really been patient with me and one thing that uh, I respected them that they really have been rushing to figure everything out. Really that the deal for them? I know you had some offers for football out of high school. Did you always have that itch to play football or is this something relatively new that you kind of want to scratch? Uh, yeah, every time football year comes around, I always think about just being on the field with a helmet and all the shoulder pads and stuff, but I uh, never really thought about it until this year because it's my last year, so I want to make a uh, best out of it. Were you always going to go basketball out of high school? Or did uh, you have to think about that for a while? It was definitely, it was probably one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make as, as a uh, human being so far. Just but when you love something so much, both sports, and uh, you're pretty equal at, at both of them. You never know which one to really give up. So uh, I kind of figured it out when I was in basketball season. I wanted to do basketball. I thought my ceiling was higher there. And I, I thought I, I made a great choice. I had a great freshman year, and I don't regret the decision I made. I think you were answering, Jimmy, when I walked up. But what's next? Uh, do you have a spot on this team? Is it yours if you want it? What comes next for you with the decision making? Uh, just like uh, Coach Fuente said, it's going to be a, uh, like a finishing deal. And I'm going to go uh, visit with him, get evaluations on how I've done throughout the spring. Uh, they're going to talk to me. So it's going to be really a, a mutual thing whether I want to do it, if I can, and then if they want me to do it, then all's well. Do you, do you want to right now? Do you want to play if they say, yeah, we want you? Oh, yeah, for sure. I've, I've, I've been out through all the practices in the spring so far, so and it's been a, a great experience. It's been a lot of fun. So if uh, they want me to play, then I, I'm, I'm more than welcome to do it. What do you think their evaluation is going to be when they sit down? Do you think you impressed them? with How many practices did you do? Not all 15, right? Uh, no, I think I did. Uh, 11 or 12, yeah, something like that. Uh, but I thought I thought I did well for just getting back out there and just kind of hit the ground running. Uh, I thought I had a lot of natural ability with this, but uh, also I had a lot of faults as well, just getting back in the game, blocking, learning plays, uh, learning how to be a, a college football player. It was uh, definitely an experience. Is there a possibility of doing both, Devin, or do you do one sport or the other? Uh, if, if I was to play football, I, I would definitely play basketball as well. So if this doesn't work out, then I'm for sure going to play basketball as well. So uh, doing the whole two-sport thing is just Who's you, better, you as a football player or Isaiah Ford as a basketball player? <laughs> uh, we haven't decided that yet. I've seen him play a couple times at the little, at Lacomas down the street uh, a couple times, but uh, we're, we might have to evaluate that one day. <laughs> did, you, did you meet with Buzz? What was that conversation? Um, Coach Buzz was, was uh, really excited. Uh, he, was, he knew that uh, just from the way I play on the basketball court that I play with more of a, a football mentality and I'm a, I'm a tougher guy on the court. So, uh, anything for a great opportunity for someone's life is what it's all about and thinks that it'll uh, really impact me for my future as well. You have a tackle, you can put him in and he'll make a play. So, uh, it's going to be real good seeing what, uh, you know, what, what, what they got him doing this fall and all that. Because they've been moving him around, he's been producing for every spot. From your experiences doing that, moving around, playing different spots, how does that help you just get a grasp of the defense of a, uh, overall? I mean, it helps you. It helps you know what everybody's doing. Uh, you, if you at corner, you can play safety. You know that uh, the safety's going to be over top, so you can play more aggressive on the defense. So it helps you learn the defense a lot better. Adonis, what's it been like going from one DB coach and Coach Gray and now split up a little bit? Has that been a, an adjustment at all? Uh, yeah, it's been an adjustment. Uh, T. Gray, I know he's, he's more uh, uh, in-your-face type. Um, coach Mitchell, he's more laid back, uh, chill. He's going he's gonna to tell you what you're doing wrong, every, everything you're doing wrong. He's going to let you know, but it's not going to be just to yelling at you. He's going to let you know so that you know you're not, not frustrated in the in the brain and all that, you're just chilling, you know what you messed up on, just fix it. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's been an adjustment, but, uh, you know, I'm all open.